Hello everybody. Everybody is here. Welcome to Chassagne. We are going to make a little turn in the vines. First of all, but uh, I don't think Here is Armoets for the T. Edward Morning Show. T. Edward Morning Show, Armoets at Chassaigne Morache. Welcome everybody. So uh, I'm going to make and to tell you about the story of the family inside our one of vines of Chassaigne Morache La Maltrois. <coughs> As you can see, the weather is uh, very beautiful. Um, it's uh, a north, north anticyclone, which is uh, here in Burgundy and in France. Uh, it means that uh, yes, we have a very, uh, very beautiful weather with winds. The connection at Chassaigne is not perfect, and I hope that it will be. Uh, will be enough to, to make this uh, this live. Uh, I was saying that uh, uh, we have a north anticyclone uh, coming from the north of uh, Europe. This explains why we have uh, this uh, amazing blue sky. And uh, so it's uh, very good for the sun. But uh, next week, uh, we will have uh, some um, raining and uh, with this cold air it's not uh, very interesting for us because uh, um, the Chardonnay begin to start to grow. I will show you some birds which begin to grow and um, here you can see that some birds begin to grow and at this side, at this staff, at this uh, moment, they are very sensitive to the frost. And uh, this week, the temperatures are not very high, but uh, as I said, it's very dry with the wind, and uh, we are safe. But next week, it will not be the same story. So today we are a little bit... Uh, Good with uh, with us. Um, so maybe one word about the story of uh, of the family uh, um, in Burgundy. So I come from a very old uh, family uh, in Burgundy, uh, Le Chardepart. Heights uh, is my father's name, and uh, the family is not coming from Burgundy. And uh, they were uh, uh, they were big owner. Uh, from uh, Côte de Nuit and Côte de Beaune uh, before the phylloxera crisis and um, uh, they were owning, owning vines from uh, Saint-Nay to the Clovis so uh, it was a very big estate but um, and they, they were not making uh, bottles directly uh, as we can imagine today uh, they were more negotiant also my old grandfather were um, uh, working also uh, as negotiant or in the army it was uh, more uh, more their job because at this time wine growers was a very hard job and uh, very difficult also to to to, to sell and to produce and to promote burgundy wine and uh, you after at the beginning of the 20th century uh, you have um, the phylloxera crisis, mildew, oidium, first and second world war. So all those events explain that uh, my family and the vines, uh, the vines, the cost of the wines was uh, very low, and uh, they, 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 it was very difficult for them to keep all their vines. So uh, to pay the succession, the 
my family uh, uh, decide to sell some vines, Musini, Clovujo, and uh, after also with the, the family, the, the different generation uh, separate the, the estate. And it's very interesting because you can see just here, this is the, the estate of my cousins, Vincent Dancer, and uh, it's fun because uh, my uh, grandfather and, um, and his uh, twin sister uh, were uh, they separate the estate of the, of the family. So that's why we have uh, lots of uh, plots which are just uh, neighbor with my cousins, uh, Vincent Dancer. Uh, so this is typical story of, uh, in Burgundy. <coughs> So uh, during two generations, the generation of my grandfather and my parents, the family didn't come back directly on the estate and uh, they didn't uh, produce bottles with the name of the family. It's, um, it's also uh, uh, an important thing and uh, um, because my grandfather was an architect, he was jailed during the Second World War and when he came back, he, he, uh, he was based at Dijon with his family and, uh, and uh, decided to keep his vines but not to, um, to, uh, to grow himself and not to produce butter. But he uh, decided to stop selling of, uh, of his wine, of his, of his vines and uh, to prepare maybe if one day one of his uh, child or little child uh, decided to come back. Unfortunately, uh, his children didn't grow themselves the, um, the vines uh, and he had to wait uh, his uh, only little uh, children, uh, me, uh, to come back on the estate. It was a big challenge for me uh, because uh, when I was young, uh, the family asked me what was my uh, project and uh, I was also very interested by uh, sailing. Uh, but uh, I don't know if you know very well the situation in France in, of Burgundy, but uh, it's not very easy to find uh, sea. So uh, even if today we have uh, enough uh, wind, Sail. Uh, sailing here is not very, very uh, easy. So uh, I uh, begin my studies in uh, in analogy, two years in uh, in Bone, and after I, I continue uh, during three years in Switzerland to, to, to learn more because uh, it was important to come back uh, and start from nothing have a big, uh, big uh, knowledge, uh, theoretic knowledge to begin and uh, it's, uh, it was also a very interesting in experience in Switzerland because it's uh, not far from uh, Burgundy, uh, it's uh, normally just here, just below me, sometimes if the weather is good you can see the Mont Blanc. Uh, which is uh, the, the highest uh, mountain in Europe and uh, so just one hour, hour, two hours from here you can see uh, Switzerland also. So uh, it was, uh, it was uh, not far from Burgundy and what is also which was very interesting it's uh, the, the mentality. Uh, the mentality in Switzerland is very different. In France, uh, we have uh, the system of appellation, uh, which is very strict and uh, with lots of rules to respect and uh, sometimes not very, very clever rules, I must say. Uh, and in Switzerland, it's a very different system. Uh, of course, it's also a very different wine country, but uh, it was very interesting can try uh, all the, the different way of uh, grape variety, of uh, wine growing, you can try everything you want. And uh, in a very small vineyard, a small country, uh, you have lots, uh, lots of grape variety and also uh, a very different style of viticulture and, uh, and uh, wine growing. So it was, uh, it was just a very 
exciting three years and uh, I come back from uh, Switzerland with uh, amazing luggage, friends and uh, base to, to, to start the, the, the new life of the family estate in, uh, in Burgundy. So uh, here we can see uh, that we are in uh, Chassaigne, Montrachet, Premier Cru, La Maltrois. Uh, <coughs> we will see uh, more uh, soil, uh, profile of soil, next, uh, just after the testing room. But here we can see that you have in the bottom part of the, um, of the view, uh, the bottom part of the appellation. Burgundy is very, uh, is very, uh, yes, no, this is uh, this Bottom part of Burgundy is uh, often more rich in clay uh, and uh, low quantity of rocks and limestone. Clay is uh, this uh, brown part. Here you can see it's very dry because of the wind, but uh, when it's uh, humid, you can do what you want with this uh, with this clay. And here. You can see that you have rocks and limestone, which is uh, important and mean that you are in the premier cru, uh, premier cru soil. Because after those bottom part uh, of, um, of, the, of the soil, you have a middle part, which is less rich in clay, with more rocks and limestone, and uh, it's better for the, the humidity, for the, 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 the growing of the vines and uh, also for the complexity. And after this, uh, this second part that you can find where you have village appellation, you have here the beginning of the, of the hill of the, each village. Each village are approximately building with the same philosophy of uh, ranking appellation. And after the top part, Not very hot, also. So uh, I, uh, I think we will go to uh, our testing room to show an old map and uh, also uh, a profile of our soil. Uh, during the path, on the path, I can show you where we put some little place for our chicken. Here, we are asleep. Here for the egg. It's very important, especially during this uh, crazy time. And I hope that uh, all of you, all of your family, and all of your um, friends are safe and uh, didn't have a problem with this uh, very 
difficult virus, which is a COVID virus. And uh, hope everybody will be safe and uh, in good health because it's a very good and hard, very hard time to, to learn. Here is Orion. Are you ready to play? If you want to play with Orion. <laughs> Come on. The problem is that Orion is not very interesting by wine, but he's very, he always want to play. Maybe it's good for playing with Orion. Now we will, we are going across my house at Chassaigne, family house in the family from uh, approximately one hundred and a half years. Uh, it's better here, less wind. I have also to cross here out from the house. Maybe we can do just uh, not in the cell. Oh, I can show you quickly where the 2019 vintage here are my babies. Okay. Here is the winery, and here is also a little part of the winery. Follow me. And here, this is the place. Everybody is interested by the bottle. It's better here. So you can, I can show you all the range of the estate very well. Hope uh, here it's not, it will be enough for the for the Instagram live. Um, I also have to check. Okay, the time we are good, and uh, as I said, yes, it's very different from uh, Bordeaux. In Burgundy, we have very small plot uh, based in different villages, and uh, we are quite proud. I am quite proud today because uh, I only begin with uh, half an hectare in 2012, and now the estate is not far from uh, what my grandfather was uh, was owning uh, when he was still there, and. Uh, I can show you also, beside, you have a very old map with uh, Côte de Beaune and Côte de Nuit. And uh, this map was uh, in the house and uh, it was, uh, uh, the, the, as I said, in the vines, the, uh, the appellation and the, the classification of the appellation didn't change a lot from uh, many years. Uh, today, uh, I also uh, have to present you uh, um, a new project, uh, which is based in Beaujolais. Um, uh, during uh, the vintage uh, 15, 16, uh, I was uh, testing a lot of Beaujolais. Uh, it's a grape variety, Gamay is a grape variety that I enjoy a lot. And um, maybe I can... Wait. How it is put? It's not. Yes, I think it will be maybe more easy to speak and to present uh, everything like that. Uh, uh, I was saying that yes, uh, in uh, 2000, uh, even in uh, Switzerland, uh, you have lots of uh, gamay. 
uh, which is planted in Switzerland and it was a great variety which uh, was very interesting uh, and I, uh, I also uh, met uh, Alex Foyer uh, in, uh, when I was uh, giving lessons at the Lycée Viticole de Beaune and uh, I really appreciate this uh, way of vinification with all sulfates, uh, all grapes, all bunch uh, very interesting in my philosophy of vinification and I begin to, uh, to, to uh, uh, spend some time uh, chat with some uh, producers and uh, in 2016 I decided to buy uh, some grapes uh, to begin to work this grape variety at the estate at Chassem and I finished to meet one of my, uh, one of my uh, friends now and uh, also a producer who was interested to sell at his estate and uh, it, was, uh, it was based in uh, Juliana and so the story began uh, I was uh, speaking with him about uh, um, I was speaking excuse me I tried to read some uh, comments uh, at my, uh, on my mobile but it's not very easy because it's quite small and <coughs> uh, so we build we begin to build in the in 1917 the 2017 the, the project to buy an estate in Beaujolais and uh, my uh, brother-in-law who also uh, fond of wine decided to, uh, to help me to uh, manage uh, this project and uh, in uh, 2018 we, uh, we finished uh, to, 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 to sign and now uh, we have also uh, part of the estate of the, of the estate, a new project which is uh, in Julien. This is this wine that we will, uh, we will uh, taste and uh, maybe a word about the, 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 um, the agronomic part of, uh, of the Beaujolais. Here is uh, the village, the appellation of Juliana. It's uh, the northern uh, appellation with uh, here Saint Amour. And after, you have all the famous uh, cru of uh, moulin vent Fleury, Chirouble, Morgon, uh, Brouilly. And uh, what is interesting to see uh, on this map is that Juliana is uh, on schist and uh, blue rocks. Uh, all the rest of the Beaujolais is mainly uh, pink or orange, as you, uh, as you can see. And uh, it means that it's volcanic, of course, rocks, uh, but uh, granitic. And uh, you can find again those uh, blue uh, schist, blue rocks and schist uh, here and here. It's uh, here it's Côte de Brouilly and here Côte de Pie. And uh, I think it's not the, the worst appellation uh, from from Beaujolais. Uh, uh, so I, I uh, really enjoy explain the, the, um, the similarity between Juliana and the beautiful appellation of, uh, of Beaujolais. To finish with the agronomic points, we can have a look on this uh, three uh, soil. Uh, so we were just a few minutes ago uh, at uh, Chassaigne Premier Cru La Maltrois. And uh, it's very interesting because my feet were there. And as I said, you can see very well here the different balance between here in brown you have more clay. More, this is the place where you have the, the main part of life, of life uh, insects, uh, worms. And after 20 centimeters, you have the color changing and it's more... Uh, limestone, little rocks, and after here, it's main part of rocks, uh, very uh, interesting uh, for the, um, the, the, when you have big rains, or for to, this is a good balance for, uh, for, uh, to make uh, Chardonnay, I think. And here is another example uh, of uh, uh, soil in Burgundy, uh, approximately the same philosophy because we are on Pomar, Claudet Pouture, 
uh, monopole and it's approximately the same, the same building with the first part which is more uh, with uh, organic and uh, clay uh, material after you have more limestone and rocks and after main quantity of rocks and here is an example uh, to show uh, the Chevalier Montrachet profile uh, at the top part uh, and uh, you can see that uh, you have a soil which is more clear, more limestone uh, and, less, and less quantity of clay and um, this is the, the, the top part of Chevalier. Uh, this is, I hope, everything is, uh, is more clear now for the soil in, uh, in Burgundy. We, are now, uh, we will now make a testing of three wines. And also, if you have questions, uh, happy to see uh, some, uh, some friends in France uh, who are following also this, uh, this live. Uh, hello to, to everybody. Uh, we will taste uh, three wine. Uh, we begin with, uh, at the estate, uh, I uh, generally appreciate beginning with the red and finish with uh, the white because I think it's more interesting to, to finish with uh, freshness of, uh, of white wine uh, uh, tasting. It's more easy after to, to make another tasting or to continue. <coughs> So uh, the only problem with uh, Instagram is that uh, it's not very easy to share with everybody uh, the wine. So uh, sorry for drinking. Uh, uh, I will not drink, uh, but uh, for testing alone the, this uh, this wine. So begin with uh, this uh, uh, wine, Juliana, in uh, 2018. <coughs> The idea is to produce um, the idea is to produce uh, a wine very I think on this on this it will be more comfortable. Perfect. Uh, we decide uh, the, the idea, the philosophy in Beaujolais is to make uh, Gamay uh, as uh, good producers uh, and uh, as historically we produce uh, Beaujolais, uh, we Gamay in Beaujolais. So uh, the vinification is made with uh, all clusters, 100 of all clusters. And the idea is to, uh, to, to keep the fruit of the of the game and uh, uh, it's not carbonic it's between carbonic and the whole clusters vinification we try to adapt every year with the specific uh, specificity of the vintage of course because uh, it's very difficult to say that every year you will work uh, in the tank like that uh, the idea now in, uh, in at the estate is to uh, understand every vintage, every balance of the wine and to adapt at the cellar uh, how to, 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 to manage, to make the, the, the best with the, the grapes that we harvest. So 18 was a very uh, interesting vintage and also very, maybe for me, the most uh, easy because uh, the, the weather during the harvest was very uh, easy, beautiful, not too warm, not too, too warm uh, but uh, yes, very uh, stable. And uh, it was very easy to decide to the date of picking uh, the, the good harvest, to have the, the best uh, harvest, and, uh, and also the, the best maturity. And uh, the, uh, the grapes they were also very, uh, very safe and very beautiful. So uh, that's why I said 18 is a very well balanced, uh, good tannins wine 
uh, very interesting. So this is the moment that I, um, which is more difficult to share. Uh, so chin, and uh, here, Juliana, I uh, really enjoy. The, 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 the potential of this appellation because, um, and especially because we are in the top part of the appellation. Uh, we are mainly in altitude and <coughs> it uh, explains uh, that uh, when you are on the top part of a hill, uh, the maturity is more slow and uh, you have a, a good, uh, good impact of the, of, the, of the hill. So it's very interesting to have the best maturity of the tenant. And I think we can taste this uh, beautiful maturity, uh, 18 and especially more uh, in uh, 19 of the, uh, of the, in this way. If you have questions, I can read the, um, I can read uh, your comments uh, here on my mobile uh, so don't hesitate if you have uh, some question to ask I will continue with uh, this um, aligoté of the estate Aligoté is a very interesting uh, grape variety because I have to the, the, the only thing you have to take care is uh, that after a red you just need to rinse your glass and uh, if you don't want, uh, don't want to drink uh, que okay I will answer to the question um, now we are finishing uh, the work of um, of uh, winter, uh, I mean uh, pruning, uh, 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 repairing uh, the, the, uh, the what we call the palissage, uh, and uh, we are also uh, always keeping an eye on, uh, on uh, the, the wine. It's an important time after the winter to uh, begin to taste the, the wine to check. Uh, what is the balance? Uh, lots of uh, administrative uh, paper, I have to say, right now, especially with uh, uh, the, the, the virus, uh, organizing uh, the team to continue to work uh, with, uh, with the, the estate. And uh, we are also beginning to work the soil and to prepare uh, the soil for the. For the, the the vintage. Budding, uh, I think Olivier, uh, it's uh, a bourgeonnage. Uh, right now we are uh, maybe uh, damaged, we will have maybe damage with frost, especially uh, next week. So uh, budding, if it's uh, a bourgeonnage, it will be for the beginning of May. Uh, it's a, a big question because we don't know if uh, we will have uh, enough uh, people to help us to, uh, to make this uh, big work. And uh, so I begin to, to organize with my uh, team, uh, all my team, uh, desk, administrative, uh, if it was uh, possible for them to help us in the vine. This is uh, vines at the estate is the most important. Uh, now we are testing uh, the aligoté of the estate. Uh, aligoté, as I said, is a very interesting grape variety because uh, aligoté get uh, an important, uh, important. Uh, yes, I hope Laura, uh, no frost on this vintage. Uh, the 2020 is enough difficult for the moment. Uh, the, what is interesting with aligoté? is that you have a big potential of acidity and with uh, some uh, hot vintage like 20, uh, not 20, like 19, 18 you can wait to get the better ripeness on your, uh, on your aligoté 
uh, to get uh, the best aromas and the, the, the acidity will still be there. And uh, for example, uh, uh, on Chardonnay, you have to take care more on the, on the potential, on the balance of the, ac on the acidity during the harvest. Aligoté is a wine that I really appreciate to work with the same philosophy as the best wine of the estate. It means that we are also working this uh, bottle on uh, lees, on barrel, and uh, we, we, we put the same attention on this wine. And I really appreciate this freshness and also this generosity of fruit. Now, T. Edward informed me that uh, the time is uh, now uh, finishing, so I have to quit. And we will try to finish with uh, this chassaigne, of course, that the vine will visit Premier Cru La Maltrois in 18. <coughs> the philosophy here is to, uh, to, to press uh, directly from little box the grape uh, and uh, I think this is the best way to extract safely the, the, the best juice and after we, we will work uh, quite normally from Burgundy with uh, never more than 25 uh, uh, new oak and uh, the, the with approximately 12 months uh, of brewing. Very interesting. I hope that you will come soon uh, or try to test this wine at T. Edward because the potential. Uh, I didn't test them from uh, approximately two weeks with this uh, very difficult uh, time we are living, and I have to say that uh, the potential uh, the, it begins to show very very well. I really, uh, I hope that one day I will test uh, those wines with uh, one of yours that you follow uh, today uh, uh, me uh, in my vines and my house and in the tasting room. Uh, I hope you, you enjoy uh, all the information I try to, to share uh, very quickly uh, on this uh, little time, uh, speaking about the family, the soil, the wine, 40 minutes is very quick and uh, hope you enjoy and uh, um, if you want to have wine don't hesitate to ask to T. Edwards in New York and, uh, and uh, also uh, hope to see you uh, soon uh, at the estate come to visit us when you want and uh, continue to drink uh, hydroalcoholic uh, solutions are very interesting to fight against uh, COVID-19 bye bye Ciao